Protesters in Thailand have surrounded government headquarters in Bangkok in response to police efforts to clear them from the streets. Officers on Tuesday detained and removed a group of demonstrators who'd been camping outside the energy ministry. Protesters have been blocking access to government buildings since late last year in a bid to oust Prime Minister Yingluck Shinawat. Our correspondent Veronica Pedrosa is joining us live from outside government house uh, in Bangkok. Veronica, what's going on there? Well, this is actually Pan Pha Bridge, Elizabeth, and um, just a few minutes ago, what was a standoff between ranks of riot police and anti-government protesters um, erupted into volleys of gunfire, and there was, what, there was one large explosion and several smaller explosions. We then saw um, demonstrators throwing rubble, rocks, bottles, anything they could lay their hands on at the police riot shields. As the situation progressed, and this is only over uh, a period of about five minutes, we got reports that one policeman had been shot by gunfire that uh, seems to be coming from this area, which is where the protesters have been banked over the last, um, have been uh, stationed over the last few months. That's where government house is. Over in that direction is where Democracy Monument was. We were doing a lot of live reporting from there because that's the HQ of the anti-government protesters who want to replace the government of Prime Minister Ying Luck Shinwat with an unelected council to put in place reforms before new elections are held. The police lines evaporated uh, within a minute. There were, uh, I would say, about 200 policemen, some of them operating bulldozers, attempting to clear the area once the gunfire came out. And then we heard that there were two more policemen who'd been injured. They all withdrew and they've retreated over in that direction, giving new confidence to the protesters who we have seen um, all gathering um, uh, I suppose what could be called makeshift weapons and heading towards the police lines over there. It looks like it's going to be a long and potentially violent afternoon here in Bangkok. All right, Veronica, and I hear that uh, Prime Minister Ying Luck Shinawat had been speaking earlier. Do you know what she had to say? She was addressing um, an issue that has um, uh, been building for some time the issue of rice farmers who have been promised a subsidy as a, a platform of the Yingluck administration. They had not been able to pay that for some time, which had caused some discontent amongst them, so that it looked as if they were going to be um, included, uh, uh, co-opted as it were, into the anti-government protests that we've been go seeing going on for some months, this lot behind me. Um, what Prime Minister Yingluck said in her speech was that they would stand by the rice farmers, the government would stand by the rice farmers and stand by their pledge and that they would get paid. And she um, criticised parties who she did not name who were trying to exploit the rice farmers' um, grievances. Veronica, thank you very much for that update. That's our correspondent Veronica Pedrosa joining us from the Thai capital, Bangkok.